This is question number 20. Question 20 says, work out the following, and you could see it's all about fractions, adding, taking away, timesing, and dividing. These are questions that you need to know. These are operations that you need to know how they're different methods with each of them. Make sure you do have a handle on it. So when you're adding and taking away fractions, the methods are really, really similar. When you're adding fractions, you need to change the denominators so they become the same. And in this case, I need to times up the first fraction, the top and bottom, by the number at the bottom of the second fraction. In this case, I need to times the top by 7 and the bottom by 7 because there the denominator is 7. And the second fraction, I'm going to times the top and bottom by 5. Why? Right? Because the denominator in the first fraction is 5. So you should have a handle on that. You should have an understanding of what to do there. So the first fraction, if I times it by 7, 3 times 7 is 21, 5 times 7 is 35, plus times the second fraction, top and bottom by 5, so I'll get 10 over 35. Okay, so I have 21 35ths plus 10 35ths. How many 35ths is that? 21 plus 10 is 31 35ths. Remember, you're adding. Take your time, pause this, look through it, make sure you understand it. If you get a question like it, Make sure you can do it. This one here, you should be doing an identical method. Just the last step would involve taking away. So I'm going to times the first fraction by 4, top and bottom. The second fraction, I'm going to times by 9, top and bottom. The first fraction is going to become 7 times 4 is 28. 9 times 4 is 36. 28 over 36, take away. 3 times 9 is 27, 4 times 9 is 36, so 27 over 36, and now I need to subtract 28, 36, take away 27, 36 is how many 36? 28 take away 7 is 1, 36, so that's my answer. Very, very straightforward. Make sure you understand these and are able to get full marks in it if that comes up in an exam. Part C is a multiplication, multiplying fractions which is one of the easiest things to do in fractions. You do exactly that. You times the two top numbers and you times the two bottom numbers. 4 times 2 is 8. 5 times 3 is 15. So pretty straightforward there. Right? Make sure you can do this. Remember it. Don't get it confused with the others. Make sure you understand it. Part D. Division is maybe the most challenging of the lot because you need to remember to change the the, fir well, the first fraction remains the same. The divide is going to change to a times and we need to flip the second fraction. Okay, so there you have it. Always write this down. Don't try to do it in your head. Write this down. And just as before, we're going to times this, so I'll have 3 times 7 and 10 times 4. Okay, so times the 2 at the top, the numerators, times the denominators. 7 times 3, or 3 times 7, is 21. 10 times 4 is 40, so 21 over 40. Really straightforward question. Very likely to get something involving one or more of all of these. Make sure you do understand how to do all of these. Make sure you do a review before your exam and you feel totally confident with these.